that have to do with it? No, no. He's got a point. So, I decided to go with the stock muffler. Obviously, uh, it won't be as loud, but it'll be a lot more practical for me to communicate with all of you while I'm driving. I also want to do a lot of live, live feeds as well. You know, I want to do a lot of live on Instagram, a lot of live on YouTube, and uh, really interact with you guys more on a daily basis. Um, live where you guys can communicate with me and talk to me while I'm driving on these road trips to wherever the heck I'm going to be going. So there won't be a loss of power um, when you put your stock bumpers back on. And many people tend to think that the noise a car makes translates to the power that it produces. That is a false, false conception. Um, it's getting kind of hot in here. 
another reason why I wanted to have my stock mufflers back on the car is he wants to hear it. So, that's not one of the reasons why I want to have my stock exhaust back on. I'm going to miss that when dudes come next to you and give you the thumbs up and go crazy about the car. That'll still happen. But I'm going to try to swing something. Not today on my exhaust, but in the near future. That's going to help keep the loud part of it loud when I want it and it quiet when I want it to be quiet. So I'm going to try to create something on the Viper that I haven't seen done on any other Viper. So I don't know, I may be right or wrong on this one. Maybe a first, maybe a not, but um, it may be a first on the Viper. But I'll, it's not going to happen today. I'll get back to you guys on that. But also, cops are giving out loud exhaust tickets left and right. And what that means, it's a state referee ticket. That means you have to go back to the referee station get a smog certification, pass smog, and all of your vacuum lines, all of your exhaust pipes, all of your catalytic converters, they've all got to be dialed in to factory specifications. I don't know about you guys, but I don't want to deal with all that shit. So if I could mitigate any opportunity for a cop to pull me over and say, you've got a lot of exhaust, you can bet I'm going to do it. So that's another big reason why I want my stock mufflers back on my car. Look, I've had this exhaust set up for about five years. I spent about, I don't know, 15, 16 hours of trial and error and multiple different designs on this dinosaur exhaust setup to finally get it sounding like this. And after all this time, I think it's time for a change. So it may be permanent. It may not be permanent. You know, it may be just temporary. I don't know. Um, but for now, it's definitely gonna go back to stock. I'm gonna do a lot of driving across state borders and I wanna be able to drive the car without getting a headache with that crazy drone. So you guys just heard what it sounded like on the freeway. We're gonna get these uh, mufflers put back on at the exhaust shop. I'm gonna show you guys the process of doing it. And uh, then we're gonna go driving again. We'll do the outro with the stock mufflers back on the car. So you guys can compare the difference between the two. So uh, pretty cool little experiment we have on our hands again today. So stay tuned. We're gonna chop this thing up and put it back together. And uh, we'll see how it goes, guys. So um, feel free to comment below. If you think I'm crazy for doing that, go ahead and comment. I don't care. I'm open to uh, positive feedback and constructive criticism. I can't wait to not have to shout into the freaking camera because of my exhaust. I found the nail. Uh oh. All right, guys. So we just got the passenger side off um, the car. The panel is now off the car. So let me walk over and show you guys what it looks like. So this entire piece right over here is missing. It's right back over there, obviously, and um, it's covered entirely. So it's a, quite a mission to take that piece off. It's about eight bolts on bottom, three on top three from the hood area and I don't know seven or eight from the back over there uh, in the wheel well so we had to take a tire off for that too um, so um, a lot of you guys are wondering well why the hell did you take it off it sounded so good well yeah I mean if you listen to the introduction it did sound good but it was very loud it droned a lot it gave me a headache while I was driving and quite honestly if I'm not gonna lose any power from changing the muffler back to the stock muffler, then I don't see why I would have a loud, crazy, loud car like that, you know? I've had that set up for five years. Um, I had a Viper for two years prior to that with a lot of exhaust. This exact exhaust is on my car for five years. So I've decided to revert back to the stock muffler. And to put it into perspective, guys, I was racing Dan the other day, as you guys saw in the vlog a couple vlogs ago. Um, his car is quiet. Um, his car is very quiet and it's very fast. So. You don't need all that noise in order to go fast these days. So um, I know a lot of people like that loud boom, bang, and pop noise that the exhaust makes and all this other stuff like that, but I'm not a big fan of it really, you know? And uh, if my car can make the same power 
be as fast as it was and uh, tone down the exhaust, guess what? I'm gonna do it. So that's what we're doing here today. And I can't wait to show you guys what it sounds like. It's gonna be very quiet, but it'll still be able to haul ass and kick some ass out at the racetrack. It'll still be awesome on roll racing. Obviously, we're not losing any power. We're not losing any speed. We're just gaining more comfort for long drives so I can actually vlog and talk to you guys all comfortably and not have to yell and project my voice and try to, you know, win that battle against my super loud exhaust system so that's why i'm doing this hope you guys understand the shop that's doing it is called celebrity muffler and automotive repair um they're awesome he does all of my exhaust work he set up my last exhaust for me as well and i refer a lot of my friends here too so make sure you guys shoot him uh, a call if you guys have any exhaust needs that need to be done or call me and i will direct you to him um, or DM me. Um, you guys probably don't have my phone number, but DM me and on Instagram and I will absolutely connect you guys to uh, Greg, who is the man right over here uh, with all the talent in the world when it comes to setting up proper exhaust on cars. So um, we're going to get back to work over here and show you guys what's going on. All right, guys, I'm really excited to hear the exhaust in its almost stock form. It's not entirely stock, but the I learned today that those aren't actually mufflers um, that, that I pointed out earlier. Those are actually resonators. Um, the Viper doesn't have mufflers. Those are resonators and uh, it's a straight through passage uh, with a bunch of holes in the dome around it. So a muffler has, um, it has a design or, or some kind of a channel inside of the straight. So those are not actually mufflers. They're resonators. So uh, we're going to hear my car with the resonators on and uh, let's wait for it. Here it is. So what do you guys think about that? So I personally love it. Um, it's not loud and obnoxious. It's pretty subtle at idle. Check it out. Very subtle. Very subtle. I like it. Um, I'm gonna start driving it and give you guys a recording so you guys can hear it while we're driving and you guys can actually hear me while we're driving now too so check it out wait for it oh my god it's so quiet I love it listen to this it's so quiet I can actually hear myself speaking and I'm so accustomed to me having to yell at you guys at the mic I'm just kind of talking loud right now but let me put my seatbelt on I'm so excited I forgot to put my belt on check it out first gear first gear This is so cool. Oh my God, it feels so nice. Honestly, I love it. And I don't care if you guys don't like it, I like it. This is not one of those things that we're gonna pull the audience on because I think majority is gonna say, keep it on, but I love it, listen. It's just so smooth and so subtle. I love it. So comment below, let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm thrilled. I can actually take this car on long trips now and not get a headache like 10 minutes into it. Check it out, we're gonna, we're gonna step on it right here. What is up guys? You guys can hear me because I'm on the freeway at 3000 RPM. I can hear myself speaking. I can hear the beeps on the GoPro. I'm not having a headache. I'm just chilling. Look at this, look at this. It's so quiet when you're cruising, but when you, look at this, now the window's down. Can you guys hear me just fine? I bet you could. It's idling down. 3,000, 2,800, 2,500. I'm gonna step on it now, watch. So a third gear, third gear, 65 miles an hour, 4,000 RPM. Check it out, there's a bump here, hang on. Yeah, check this out. I'm gonna step on it in a sec. 3,500 RPM, 65 miles an hour, third gear. It's a dream. 
I love it. I, I love it. Honestly, I love it. So, <laughs> so cool. I think it sounds clean. I like it. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. See you later. <laughs>